Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Jack. In this channel, I talk about personal finance, adulting, and self-improvement. And today, in this video, let's talk about compounding interest. Okay, based on my past experience, ang hirap explain sa mga tao yung concepts ng personal finance, especially when it comes to numbers. Para nang pifreeze yung utak ng mga tao. So instead of numbers, I'll use images and moving pictures to explain to you ng maayos yung meaning ng compounding interest. The best example that I could use is yung game ng Super Mario. So, ah, sana mag-make sense to. But have you seen si Mario pag nakakuha siya ng Super Mushroom? Di ba lumalaki si Mario pag nakuha niya yung Super Mushroom? It's the same concept for your money but except for a Super Mushroom for your money, what you need for your money is compounding interest para lumaki yung pera mo. So how does compound interest work? So for it to effectively work, you need time and an investment vehicle. An investment vehicle could be anything that grows your money. Could be the stock market, the bond market, the real estate market, etc. etc. For as long as it makes your money grow, it is an investment vehicle. The typical example that most people use to explain compound interest is this graph. So ito yung money and time graph. Where sa simula, pag nag-invest ka ng maliit na pera, pag nilagay mo yun sa isang investment, as time goes on, it grows and grows and grows. And that is because of compounding interest. So yung mga pinagsasabi ko are concepts and ideas behind a compounding interest. But aren't you curious how does compounding interest actually work? So para maintindihan nyo na mas maigi, let me illustrate. Pero let's use this example. So meron tayong investment vehicle that gives us 10% compounding interest annually. And meron tayong 50,000 worth of capital. So how long does it take para maging doble yung capital natin? So, gano'ng katagal for your 50,000 to become 100,000? So, that's what I will illustrate. To give you a quick idea kung gano'ng katagal bago mag-double yung pera mo with a certain amount of interest rate, let's just use yung rule of 72 where it suggests na divide mo lang yung number 72 with your compounding interest rate. So in our example, we have 10% compounding interest rate. So yung number 72 divided by 10, so that's 7.2. So that's 7.2 years before mag-double yung pera mo. So if iba yung uh, interest rate mo, just, just divide number 72 with your amount of interest rate and yung lalabas sa number will be kung gano'ng katagal in years yung idodoble ng pera mo. Even though we have a rough estimate kung gano'ng katagal bago mag-double yung pera natin uh, with 10% compounding interest, let's just do it actually manually. Tingnan natin kung talagang 7.2 years uh, tatagal yung pag-double ng pera natin. So let me just compute it for you and yun, let's see. Ito yung isang camera ko for top-down view. <coughs> so in year 1, you have 50,000 na in-invest. And after a year, since 10% nga interest mo, so yung 10% ng 50,000 is 5,000. So let's use yung red marker as yung, inter yung interest na tinutubo mo and yung interest mo after one year. Then, dun sa entering year 2, ang mangyayari naman, yung capital mo is pagsasama yung interest mo plus yung original capital mo na 50,000. So, yung 5,000 na tinubo mo plus 50,000, pagsasama yun, and that will be your capital for the second year na kadadating. Okay, after finally uh, finishing yung pag-compute, so after 8 years, your 50,000 will become uh, 97,435.1 after 8 years of 10% compounding interest from 50,000 na capital. Okay, I'm actually verifying kung tama yung pagka-compute ko and based dito, parang off ako ng 1 year or I don't know if tama siya or ako yung mali because look at my computation. So after 8 years, tsaka lalabas yung 97,435.1 while dito, it only takes him 7 years for it to parang lumabas yung uh, 97,000. I don't know, baka may mali lang sa pagkakompute ko. It's maybe off by a year. Ganun yung concept. Uh, maybe off lang ako ng one year or off siya ng one year but there's slight discrepancy lang but it's almost uh, concise na. So, ang gusto ko na talaga i-point out dito is uh, makikita mo talaga na nag-snowball yung money mo through compounding interest. So, palaki ng palaki ng palaki yung magiging interest mo pag pinabaya mo yung pera mo to something that really compounds. So, yung rule of 72 is just a rough estimate pero close enough para naman sabi 7.2 but actually, it's around 9 years talaga bago mag-double yung pera mo. But again, the end of the day, the idea na gusto kong i-share is to uh, put your money and save your money to something that really compounds. If malabo pa rin yung pagkaka-explain ko ng compounding interest, let me use this kind of analogy. Isipin mo meron ka nag-iisang puno and nagbunga siya ng putas, tinanin mo yung buto ng putas ng tinubo ng puno mo. Yung uh, tinanin mo na, na, na buto, diniligan mo, inilag, pinaarawan mo, 
and there will be a time na it will grow. So, meron ka niyang dalawang puno na nagbubunga ng putas. Sibin mo yung uh, mga bunga ng dalawang puno mo, tinilin mo. At sinilagaan mo ulit yung, ano, yung pagtanilin mo. Then, there will be a time na maraming 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 ka ng puno. It's the same concept and idea pagka you save a portion of your money and you invest it in a investment vehicle. There will be a time na yung tinatabi mong portion ng sweldo mo magbubunga para sa'yo. Okay, now let's move on from money. What most people think is that uh, compounding just works with money. But I want to share to you yung perspective ko kasi uh, compounding goes far beyond money. It also works for relationship, to your health, to your knowledge, to your skill, everything almost compounds. First, let's talk about skill. If you have a hobby and naging passionate ka about it, you will become better at it. For example, you you have you have a hobby na singing, dancing, writing, taking photos or making videos. If you put time on it, you will become better at it. So everything compounds, pati yung sa skill, de ba? When it comes to relationship, naman, obviously, as you spend more time together, it builds trust. So back no college, I have this business uh, partner, si Mike. So hindi kami nags simula as friends. So, wala akong masyadong tiwala sa kanya nung simula. So, nagsisimula kami mag-business. Uh, sobrang strict ako when it comes to inventory and yung pagbabalance ng sheets namin. Yung uh, pera to sales. Pero, as time goes by, alam mo yung parang na-build na yung, yung trust and hindi na ganun ka-stressful yung, yung pag-business. Kasi, wala ka ng duda or alam mo parang wala na anxiety sa'yo na dudugasin ka ng partner mo. So, yun. As you could see, di ba? Parang pati yung relationship, it also compounds. To knowledge naman, just like scale, if you put more time on it, syempre, pag inaral mo ng inaral yung isang discipline, yung isang bagay, you will become more knowledgeable at it. Especially sa health. When it comes to health, pagka inalaga mo yung health mo at an earlier stage, so if you eat healthy, nag-exercise ka, in the future, in the long run, uh, you will uh, parang have less uh, sickness, you will have less chance of having critical illness. So, yun, obviously, di ba makikita mo, everything really compounds. So, what's the point and thesis of me talking about this compounding thing? So, yung gusto ko lang i-emphasize or gusto ko lang talagang sabihin or i-point out is that uh, do good things for yourself now because yung good things na yun will become better for yourself in the future. So, don't just invest uh, in money, also invest in other aspects of your life. So, before I end this video, I just want to read some comments that caught my interest for the past week. So, this one is from Che Subaran. So, hello po. I just want to ask if you, could, if you can also provide information on how to get a good health insurance from reality, focusing on critical illness, either major or minor, and sana po based on your unbiased perception, and salamat po. So, this one caught my attention. Then, sa pa is uh, kay Darcy. Great content, bro. You earn a sub for this. Next time po, mga best credit cards for cashbacks and earning points. Thanks, boss. Keep it up. So, this one's parang yung uh, point hacking. So, I'm also interested to this. Then, lastly, kay Rain. So, we finally made another uh, personal finance vlog. Ako nakita. Can you make a video focusing on dividend investing? So, this is topic na parang also caught my interest before. So, nung nag-trade ako ng stocks. So, yung dividend investing. So, basically, dito naman, uh, you'll buy stocks that gives high dividends pagka nag i sila ng dividends. The reason why I'm mentioning these kinds of comments is because finally, I feel na there's an audience that wants to learn more other than just saving money. Because the reason why most of my videos before is just parang about saving money is because that's what uh, the views and the comments dictate before. So, parang before, whenever I upload uh, a video about personal finance other than parang saving money parang it doesn't parang uh, get as much atten attention as uh, saving money so yun I'm, I'm glad that finally I could parang make uh, videos na more advanced when it comes to personal finance I'm just glad and appreciate ko na finally there's an audience that wants more advanced topic other than parang saving money kasi when I make this video I actually make a bit of research about it and pagka ganun parang may natututunan ako and I feel na I'm still learning and growing in this personal finance space so as thing para sa akin parang okay finally may matututunan naman ako bago aside than just saving money. What's in my headspace ngayon is paano ko gagawa ng video itong mga suggestions nyo. Will I make parang one individual video per suggestion nyo or parang iba pa ko na lang siya into one video na Q&A style. So yun, parang yun yung thought process ko ngayon. Hindi ko pa sure kung paano ko siya gagawin. So yun, if you have suggestions, kindly let me know in the comments section down below kasi I do really consider it. Some topics naman that I'm personally curious of is uh, yung renting versus 
buying a home. So parang which, which is more effective. Also, yung term insurance versus whole life insurance. Parang what's the best insurance for you? Or can I man manage funds versus index funds? Parang which funds is better for you? So yun, I hope na interested din kayo dun sa mga ideas and topics ko. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope na appreciate yung video na to. And please don't forget to hit the like button if you appreciate or like this video. And uh, favor na lang, please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet a subscriber. And uh, if you have a friend who you think na would really appreciate my type of content, please share my channel to them. So yun lang, I'd like to reach na a thousand subs by the middle of the year. So parang yun yung personal goal ko. I know, I hope maabot ko yun. And I'd really appreciate if you would help me. And yun lang, lastly, that's it. Yun lang, see you in the next video. Bye! Boom! <laughs>